you can easily hit sufficient muscle building protein goals every single day without any supplements as a vegan just by eating foods like these. What's up, Super Squad? It's Jordan Gatellius, the Super Vegan, and one of the biggest concerns people seem to have when going vegan, especially when trying to maintain a fit, strong, healthy physique, is protein. Protein. How are you going to get sufficient amounts of protein in you as a vegan, let alone get enough protein to build and sustain muscle mass? You can't do that as a vegan. It's freaking impossible. Are you crazy? It's, yeah. It's basically impossible, right? The foods with the highest amounts of protein are all animal products. And of course, animal products contain the best protein for you, right? Right? Wrong. All the, you can't get enough protein as a vegan, or you can't get the best quality protein as a vegan, you're never gonna be fit as a vegan. Those kinds of arguments are some of the biggest and some of the stupidest myths out there about veganism and about vegan diets. They're simply not true. And veganism aside, comments like that just show you how way too many people are extremely just poorly educated in nutrition. Comments like that are pathetic and have really just seemed to become troll level stuff. And sadly, these people haven't caught on that they look like fools and that it's not working. Yo, check this dude out in the vegan shirt. Hey! You should try a real burger. You look like you need some protein. Dude's probably on steroids, man. Nobody could look like that naturally just eating stuff like grass. Hey man, have fun saving the animals while we enjoy this nice juicy steak. Got him, man. Got him. Mm. <laughs> We've all had to deal with it. And hey, some of us used to be like that. I was, but now that I'm no longer a dum-dum, I'm here to tell you you can get plenty of protein on a vegan diet, you can build plenty of muscle on a vegan diet, and you can get plenty fit on a vegan diet as well. And to help you do all that, I'm going to share some of the top high protein vegan foods out there, foods that are actually highest in protein, so not things like beans or legumes, which despite their fiber content, tend to be more carb heavy, and those are more natural sources than what I'll be going over and in depth into today. So I'm gonna save all of those for another video. For now, these are straight up high protein, plant-based foods that'll help you hit high protein goals for building high amounts of muscle and getting super fit, super vegan fit. So as always, in no particular order, let's get right into this list right now. First, soy. Ironically enough, soy boy is another one of those troll level insults. Hell, it's the staple of them all, right? But I wear that badge proudly as a soy boy because when you say soy boy, this is what they look like, son. Soy boy. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. It actually sounds like he'd be my sidekick or something. The Adventures of the Super Vegan and Soy Boy. Soy, it's one of the best high protein plant-based options for vegans. Not only is it high in protein, but it's also a good source of fiber, calcium, vitamin C, vitamin A, iron. It's got all sorts of goodies packed in it that is gonna do good things for you and your body and your muscles. And guess what? You know that whole complete protein argument people like to use saying you can't get those as a vegan? Guess again, whole soy foods like soybeans, Tempeh and tofu are considered complete proteins, baby. Meaning they contain all of those nine essential amino acids that our bodies need but can't produce on their own. Surprise! And those are exactly the next three foods I'm gonna be talking about. Yeah, technically they're all soy, but also technically they're all different. Tempeh and tofu are different textures with different flavors. Soybeans are obviously more natural in their bean form. You get the picture, right? But yeah. Tofu? Tofu is a great high protein vegan option and it's one of my favorites, which is crazy because I used to hate the stuff. But just be aware that there's different kinds of tofu out there like firm, 
super firm silken and many different brands that produce them and some have better macro content than others with a higher protein content so just be mindful of that if you're on the hunt for the highest protein packed tofu some of my favorites are the organic super firm high protein from sprouts trader joe's also has their own version of that that's really similar and another one of my go-to's is the boxed Morinu silken tofu by Morinaga, I believe it is. And I usually find that one at Sprouts as well. They carry it at a lot of Asian markets as well. And I usually use tofu mostly in scrambles, in stir fries, and a lot of the time I'll also use them instead of yogurt in my protein bowls to get a thickening, creamy-like texture when I make smoothies and shakes. Tempeh is another great high protein option. And if you don't know what tempeh is, Tofu is a pressed soy block, right, of coagulated soy milk. Tempeh is made from fermented soy beans into more of a firmer sort of block than tofu. So kind of the same, kind of different. It's got a chunky, sort of nutty, mushroomy flavor. And because it's a fermented protein, it's loaded with umami, which gives it a sort of savory meatiness. And one of my favorite things to do is marinate and cook it in soy sauce. It's full on soy boy here, but <laughs> that's what I do to heighten those meaty qualities. Even hit it with a little bit of liquid smoke that bring those out even further. So I really like using tempeh as more of a natural mock meat alternative to the more processed stuff. Don't get me wrong, tofu and tempeh are both processed obviously, but not as processed on a level as some of those other kind of mock meats out there. There's not a ton of additives and stuff like that. They're processed, but they're still pretty natural. Now, another one of my favorite high protein options of the soys is TVP. That's textured vegetable protein. And it's made from soybeans where the soy protein is isolated from the other components in them and is compressed into little granules, usually dried, and then rehydrated before cooking. At least that's the only way I've ever seen it used. I buy the bag of it by Bob's Red Mill. And this stuff could be used anywhere you'd use something like a ground sort of meat in a recipe. So think of crumbles for tacos and burritos, stuff like that. And I know what you're thinking. Why are you recommending all this soy to us when soy is bad for you? Look, I used to think soy was bad too, back when I was dumb, but it's not. Soy protein offers all the amino acids humans need. And because it's a complete source of protein, it's actually a way healthier protein option than meat is, which if you didn't already know or not, many of have been classified as a group one carcinogen with strong evidence linking practically all meat to probable causes of cancer these soy products i recommended may be processed but they ain't no class one carcinogen that are gonna cause you cancer and no they're not gonna mess with your hormones you'd have to be eating it all day every day pretty much nothing but the stuff in order for it to have an effect on you on that level but if you don't want to be a soy boy like me, that's fine. I understand. There's plenty of other high protein options not made from soy. And one of the top ones and one of my personal favorites is seitan, baby. Unlike tofu and tempeh, it's not made from soy. It's actually made from gluten, the protein found in wheat after all the dough particles have been removed. You might find this one on some ingredient labels as vital wheat gluten, which is basically a less cooler nickname for seitan, right? Seitan sounds better, doesn't it? This one is a really solid meat alternative. If you're into that, it's got a texture that very closely resembles meatiness. So you can make steaks out of this stuff. You can make beef tips. The possibilities are endless for seitan and seitan is one of the highest protein packed plant-based options out there. It might actually be the highest one. So definitely start incorporating it into your diet if you're trying to hit some of those higher protein goals on a daily basis. Now the last couple on this list are just plant-based milk alternatives high protein plant-based milk alternatives. So again, with the soy, soy milk is gonna be one of the highest protein concentrated plant milks out there. But there's also other ones like flax milk with added protein. Usually when you see that added protein on these plant milks, it's usually in the form of pea protein, not soy protein. So again, for all you soy-free boys out there, those are for you. So if you wanna add muscle to your body, you're gonna to wanna to add these options to your diet. And aside from these, there are plenty of mock meat products already out there that are super high in protein. Granted, these are gonna be even a little bit more processed than these ones I've talked about. 
There's probably gonna be a little bit more additives in those, a little less natural, but they're gonna help you accomplish the same high protein hitting goals. So things like Beyond Meat alternatives, Impossible Meat alternatives, things from Tofurky and the like, like Deli Meat alternatives and pepperoni slices, Gardein Meat alternatives that range from beef to chicken to fish to anything. Morningstar meat alternatives. There's an ever growing number of these sorts of products that make it easy for you to get in your necessary amounts of protein for building muscle and all without having to hurt, harm, kill, or exploit a single animal while doing so. How freaking amazing is that? All while still tasting freaking amazing. So there it is guys. Those are my top highest protein packed options for vegans looking to hit high protein numbers for building high amounts of muscle and getting their bodies super fit. Now, I just want to reiterate, you definitely don't want them to be the main one and only protein sources you consume. You want to mix and balance these in with more naturally occurring protein sources like lentils, beans, peas, protein rich veggies, protein rich seeds, etc, etc. And I will most definitely be following this video up with that one to help make sure you accomplish that and are in the know about all the best protein options for vegans. Again. These ones I talked about today are just the highest protein concentrated options out there that I wanted to showcase and these are the highest protein options that are going to help you more easily hit daily high protein goals, okay? So get familiar with them, find your favorites, start eating them, and start making those gains vegan style, baby. And for fit tips and workouts on how to use all this super fuel to build a super body, make sure to check out and subscribe to our Zero to Hero Athletics channel, where we cover gym and home workouts and everything in between for people with gyms and without anything. So make sure to subscribe over there to get started on getting into better shape with whatever you have without any problems. And to get fully structured and complete training programs, head over to our official website to find the right one for you. For all the best ways you could be supersizing and super shredding your superhero physique for the ultimate zero to hero transformation. If you enjoyed this super vegan video, make sure you Hulk smash that like button. Share the video to spread the vegan vibes and help keep the super vegan squad going and growing. Leave some comments below about some of your favorite vegan eats. And again, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Until next time, super squad, go vegan and go well. Peace.